Green smoothies, if yes. you want. Yeah. Wow, they we're are. definitely like going to try yeah. oh Let's get into it. We've got such a green show today. We've got our green smoothies. We also have green goop today. Wow. Which we're going to check nice. out a bit later. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, Ooh. I want to know, what are the big differences between Shrek the Movie and Shrek the Musical? Well, Shrek the Musical really does follow Shrek the Movie, the first movie. We have the same characters. So we have Shrek and Princess Fiona and Donkey and Dragon and Lord Farquaad. And the... But what Puss we in have, Boots. We have a, a little cameo kind of, of Puss yeah. in Boots. Oh. Oh. And uh, we have... But what we have in the musical is a whole new lot of music, as well as I'm a Believer, which does make an appearance right at the end. Yeah, if, you, if, you, you know, if you're a big fan of the cartoon, um, or the animation, should I say, then, um, yeah, you'll love it. It's got mm. all of the good bits. It's got all of the farting and burping and, uh, <laughs> you know, like, which is the main thing, really. We got a little exactly. preview of as that earlier. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. I can't help it. <laughs> totally planned. So, as you said before, all these characters are kind of, like, mythical. They're not even human. So, how do you bring them to life on stage? Costumes. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. hectic. Actually, it's a really big costume, and makeup. costume makeup, and wig show. Mm -hmm. Because, like in the movie, it, um, Shrek's saving the fairy tale characters who have come to live in his swamp because they've been taken out of Duloc. And so we have Little Red Riding Hood and Fairy Godmother and the three wolf, pigs, the three pigs, yeah. all of those fairy tale characters. And so there's pretty hectic, Ugly Duckling, Peter Pan, heaps, and then of course Shrek mm. and Ben has like a pretty hectic yeah. mm. lot of prosthetics. Oh, big fat we actually have a time lapse. Oh, oh you got that? Yeah, okay, so yeah. Take a look at that. Amazing. <laughs> An hour and 50 minutes. Whoa. Whoa. And stage lights are hot. Do, is it hard performing and all of that get up? Yeah, it is. But, um, uh, you know, obviously when you get up there and you've got an audience in the room and the stage light is very hot. Mm. Um, and if it's humid, it gets super extra hot. Uh, but I wear an ice vest underneath, which is a full vest of all little ice packs. Oh. And um, that lasts about 50 minutes, which is the whole first act. Mm. Um, and then by, that, by which time it turns into a heat pack. So we quickly <laughs> get that off and then put another one on for the second act. So Lucy, um, one of your best known roles is of course Glinda yes. in uh, Wicked and Wizard of Oz for a little bit, but That's it's right. Galinda, right? You are on your yeah. star. Yeah. 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 I'm just trying to be fangirl over here. I oh, know, we're actually really fangirl like inside. Um, but yeah, so that was a really long role for you. How long did you do that for? I did 1,300 performances of Glinda in Wicked. Oh, what? <laughs> yes, that's over insane. Over kind of two stints. So I did the original Australian, I was in the original Australian cast as Glinda. And then I left for a bit and did some other shows and some television series. And then it came back. So then it went overseas for a little bit and I um, bowed out for a bit. And then they said, do you want to come back? And I was like, sure. It was my dream role and I loved every moment of it. Yeah, it was hard work, but it was so much fun. So what's yeah. it like playing a character for that long? Well, I think it's kind of like what we were saying about before. And it's I, I think the best way is to, with the parameters of the script, and you're not changing anything, you're not doing anything unprofessional, but just making sure that in the moment you're playing a little bit with the intention and just keeping it as fresh and as truthful to, you know, every day you wake up as a slightly different version of yourself and just using whatever that is within the storyline so that you're telling a really authentic story. You get into a rhythm, but I think you just need to find that sort of something which is a connection and even if it's slightly different, it's still it's still the same connection. So for all you budding actors out there, that's the key is to find the organic truth and uh, tweak it. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes you accidentally find gold. Like you do something and everyone laughs, and you're like, yeah. "Oh, what was yeah. that?" Have to try and then you spend like the next week of performances trying to find out what it was that you did, yeah. kind of by accident. We, we do yeah. crack each other up a little bit yeah. on stage yeah. too. Yeah, especially... then often we'll try yeah. different things, <laughs> and anything different. Yeah. You know, when you're doing Once, a chase week, oh my god! Once again, still keeping it professional. Definitely. <laughs> 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 